Good morning to you, saints of God. This is Lee Posky. This message comes to you from my heart. I'm going to help you understand how it is that we are to do the Christian life. So many churches are filled with people who week after week are presented with messages that are meant to motivate you to live godly lives and to do the Christian walk unto the end. Some preachers use motivational challenges. Others use fear while others simply repeat the same old rote that they preach every Sunday. You can do it, and God inside of you is your source and power to do it. These are all truthful messages, but these are all partial truths that are missing the most important part of the message. They're missing the resting and the finished work of Christ part. Let's say that a sermon does include some vital components. For example, we're all spiritually dead and rightfully under God's wrath in our natural, unregenerate state. We're not basically good people. We're basically evil people. Check. We must be born again by the Spirit of God to see the kingdom of God. Salvation is of the Lord, not of man. Check. Faith in the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation is the way of justification being justified freely by grace through faith, not of works, lest any man should boast. Check. And so after being told that, you're left with the admonition to go out there and do a little better than you did last week. What's missing in all of that? What's missing in all of that is the foundation. What's missing is rest in the finished work of Christ. If you don't have that, you're going to end up one of two ways. You're going to be a depressed hypocrite, or you're going to walk away from it all from the malaise of exhaustion. Friend, you walk in the Spirit by resting in the finished work of Christ, and you can only do that when the proper foundation is established before you embark to do anything in the Christian life. What does that mean? That means you start out at Hebrews 10.14, and everything flows from that centerpiece anchor. For by one offering, he hath perfected forever them that are sanctified. You get it? Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, present tense, right now, so are we in this world. Fully holy and fully righteous, right now. Not as we do better than last week, but right now, in the midst of our sins of our flesh, we are as righteous as God is. Of course, we hate our sins of our flesh, and of course, we're undone over our sin when God drew us to Christ. But once we're, re we're regenerated, mourning turns to singing. We have been given beauty for ashes. And if you don't own that, you don't have the necessary foundation to do life properly as a Christian. Done properly, everything that a Christian does or thinks should be done from a heart that rests in Christ's finished work applied to oneself. You help an old lady across the street, you do it as someone who rejoices in the knowledge that you're already as righteous as God is. You commit your usual sin over and over again, you do it as someone who rejoices in the knowledge that you're already as righteous as God is. So, dear saint, are you rejoicing perpetually that you're fully forgiven, fully sanctified, and fully the righteousness of God? You should be rejoicing in that truth every waking moment of your life. We're a mess in our flesh, but God has spiritually perfected us in the midst of it all. And the resulting gratitude is our motivation to do better. So, dear saint, are you walking in the light that you're already as righteous as God is? That's how you do the Christian life. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works as God did from his. That's Hebrews 4.10. All right, well, I thank you for sharing some of your valuable time with me. In all glory to the risen Lord Jesus Christ, and no glory to us whatsoever. Bye-bye.